Okay, hi guys. This is your new um, prep video for chapters 12 through 14. And basically a lot of it is going to come out of chapter 12. But you have about 22 questions again. Um, the first three are going to be your same, your matching, your vocab. Um, and then a lot of what you're going to end up doing out of chapter 12 is as you get into the um, section, the very first thing I'm going to want you to talk about is what are some of the risk factors that you can control um, for cardiac health, but then also some of the risk factors that you can't control. So like in your book, it's going to talk about risk factors you can control, things like obesity, body fat, waist circumferences, versus some of the risk factors you can't control, like family history or race and ethnicity. Obviously, there's a lot more than that. Um, but you're going to have to be able to pick a couple of those and discuss those risk factors. Um, then you're going to kind of go into some of the different disorders. And a big part of what I'm going to ask you is the um, different parts about your different diseases. So you need to know, like, for the metabolic syndrome, what are the signs of having a metabolic syndrome? There's hmm, five listed in your book. Um, when you get into diabetes, you're going to need to know uh, mostly about who's at risk. And um, then I'm going to have you maybe pick a certain type of diabetes and discuss that in detail. Um, you're going to need to know a little bit about how to detect diabetes how, what are the signs and symptoms, and then also um, the ABCs for managing diabetes. So that's all going to kind of be involved in the same question. For hypertension, um, again, you're going to want to know who's at risk. Um, for, let's see. Uh, cardiovascular disease. Um, again, you're going to have to talk a little bit about some of the psychosocial risk factors. So things like depression or stress or anger. Um, again, there's a bunch of those, but you're going to have to be able to discuss some of that. Um, discussing some of the other risk factors. Um, Let's see, what else? For stroke, again, knowing who's at risk. Um, for cancer, you're gonna have to know a little bit, again, who's at risk. You're gonna notice that that's what I'm asking a lot about because that's probably one of the most important components is understanding who's at risk for these diseases and how we can combat that. Um, so again, for cancer, who's at risk? Um, and there's some pretty big categories there. What are, not only are you going to have to know who's at risk for cancer, but again, what are the risk factors? So that's kind of a different section, but being able to discuss some of those risk factors in regards to getting cancer. Um, let's see. And really, I think that's it. So you're going to have a lot out of that section because you're just going to have a lot of those separate um, risk factors for cancer, risk factors for stroke, who's at risk for cancer, who's at risk for a stroke, things like that. Um, when you get into the next chapter if for infectious disease, it's going to be a lot more broad. Um, I'm going to list a bunch of the a bunch of the infections in this chapter and I'm just going to have you pick a couple and I want you to tell me as much about them as you can. Um, make sure you're taking that information from your book, same as the other um, for the for the chapter 12, same as for those diseases. Make sure you are taking this information out of your book. Do not Google it. Um, this is particular to I want to know what you're getting out of your textbook in regards to these um, these categories. So again, there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of these infectious diseases listed. 
pick, you're going to pick a couple and you're going to just tell me as much about them as you can. So, you know, you still have two and a half hours. Um, so there really shouldn't be any excuse for you running out of time. Um, just make sure you're being very detailed and just be careful about that. One of the general questions you are going to have to answer is who is at risk or who often develops these infections? And so there's certain populations that your book list that says it's more likely that these types of people are going to develop these infections. So do make sure you know that on top of being able to talk about a couple of these major infections. Um, you're going to have to talk a little bit about vaccination because obviously that's a huge issue right now. Um, so taking some of the information from your book about childhood vac vaccinations, adult vaccinations, um, and then um, you can even, this would be one that I would accept some outside research on in regards to, um, you know, if you think vaccination is good or bad or anything like that, you could include some of that. You could include an outside source for that if you really wanted to. Um, let's see. And then I think most of this is just picking your pick in your couple of disorders to talk about. Again, remember, you're only picking a couple, so make sure you talk about them in a lot of detail. And that's really pretty much it from that chapter. So that shouldn't be too bad. Um, and then in the last chapter, I'm gonna just ask you a couple of pretty, pretty general questions. There's one specific question where I'll ask you about the Affordable Care Act. You have to give me some of the um, kind of reforms that it talks about but also then some of the benefits or positive outcomes that it says that the Affordable Care Act has had. So do make sure you know some of those. Um, and then kind of in general, let's see, I'm gonna have you talk about just how do you take care of your own medical, you know, situation? What things you need to be aware of? How do you make sure you're getting the best medical care? What things should you be aware of? And just kind of discuss that in general. Um, I am also going to have you just discuss some of the alternative medical health care methods. Um, so really, so under the non-traditional, there's a whole bunch of different ones, like acupuncture is one example, but there's a whole bunch listed in your book and you're just gonna have to talk about some of those um, just to have an idea of what some of the separate uh, separate categories are. Um, and then kind of what you guys did in one of your discussions, you're gonna have to do on the test, which is just kind of talk about the healthcare system in the United States compared to other countries so if you don't remember um, any of the information about, you know, what people found in other countries, you might go revisit that discussion or do some additional research before you take the test and just have that in front of you so that you can kind of compare what goes on in the U.S. versus what goes on in some other countries. And that's going to be it. So just make sure, again, like I said, with the vocab, it's always easier if you write them out ahead of time. Um, hopefully, if you've been doing that, you're in the habit of doing it or, um, you know, finding a way to kind of compile all of those definitions. And then, you know, just making sure that you go through and you, you know, take notes on some of the things I've told you are gonna be on there, that'll, that'll save you a lot of time. So um, again, you have, your, you have your same two and a half hours. Um, do not use the internet, except for, like I said, on that one question, if you wanna do some outside research, that's fine, but make sure you're pulling all of the um, lists and all of the risk factors and all of the um, who's at risk information from your textbook. And um, hopefully this one won't be too bad because it's only three chapters. And like I said, it's only about 22 questions. So as usual, if you have any questions, send me an email, um, but happy testing. <laughs>